One last case with uh, a full endentulous patient. And that patient, uh, actually, he lost four implants during the first COVID lockdown. And hopefully, uh, he kept two posterior implants. One recurrent issue in clinical cases where the purpose is to make a full arch bridge on implants is either the presence of metal uh, on all the residual teeth to be extracted or, on the, in the contrary, the lack of fiducial marker. And in these two situations, reading on code immunity can be very, very hard. Either because we are just unable to distinguish heart tissue from metallic artifacts to make a good project alignment with the digital impression in the planning software, either because the soft tissue cannot be distinguished and there is there too the matching is complicated to produce a mucosal supporter guide. So one solution we adopted is to use Lego bricks. The patient has uh, a temporary denture and that denture is duplicated and we are now ready to use the bricks. So the first step is to glue uh, a big Lego brick on the duplicate without interfering with the lawatis, just like this, with the good old impression compound. Uh, I know it's not really digital. And then we use also that good old impression past, so we can realign the denture, just like this. And now the most important part is to proceed with the cone beam CT without removing the reline duplicated denture. And this moment is very interesting because with no effort, we get a fiducial marker that is very, very easy to read on the cone beam CT with a simple Lego brick. Next, we need more Lego bricks. Uh, we need a plaster model that is prepared by the dental technician. And um, the dental technician will glue three Lego bricks on the base of the model, just like this. And then the model is scanned, yet without removing the reline uh, denture. Then we can proceed to the second desktop scanning, this time only the model with the three remaining Lego bricks on the base. And we also decided to use photo the photogrammetric system. The photogrammetry, it is the art uh, and science of the art and science to derive 3D information from images. It locates the geometric characteristics of objects and their spatial orientation using several photographs that is used. It's the technology that is used in topography, in archaeology. It's also used by Google Maps. And with this method, we get the most accurate measurement of the distance between the two implants without any distortion. And we will align the position of the two remaining implants with a conventional, conventional digital impression uh, that will capture the, the mucosa.